Hey everyone, Amazon had an excellent year in 2023, and so that has a lot of investors asking, where could Amazon stock price be in one year from now? Or how will Amazon's stock price perform in 2024? So that's going to be the subject of this video. I'm going to look at Amazon's latest quarterly results. I'm going to look at a few assumptions and estimates for Amazon stock price in 2024 and a year ahead and I'm going to look at the earnings per share estimates combine that with the valuation to come up with the conclusion for my estimate of where I think Amazon stock price could be in 2024 so this is an interesting video you're going to want to stay tuned let's start digging into the details I want to thank the Motley Fool for sponsoring this video visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now so let's start with Amazon's latest quarterly sales results, which increased by 13% to $143.1 billion in the third quarter. That was compared with $127.1 billion in Q3 2022. That increase in sales increased operating cash flow by 81% to 71.7 billion for the trailing 12 months compared with 39.7 billion for the trailing 12 months ended September 30th 2022 and this is in my opinion the most impressive of the results for Amazon in 2023 now this is for the latest quarter and the trailing 12 months but Amazon has done a good job in utilizing its existing infrastructure while growing sales so Amazon increased the sales by 11%, but it didn't increase its capital investment by all that much. It didn't increase its cash expense by all that much. And that created leverage where it was increasing its cash flow, its profitability throughout the business. Now, remember, Amazon overinvested during the pandemic to make sure that customers got the products they needed. Amazon made sure that it delivered on customer satisfaction during the pandemic. So it overinvested. It said, you know what, if we're going to make a mistake, let's make a mistake of making sure our customers get the service they need. If we end up overinvesting, that's okay. We'll make up for it by reducing spending the next couple of years. And that's precisely what Amazon is doing now. It overinvested and now it's capitalizing on that. It's growing into those investments and it's starting to show up in the company's profitability in its cash flow. Let me show you more. So if you look at Amazon's quarterly and nine month income statement, which ended on September 30th, you can see the difference between product sales growth and service sales growth. Remember service sales are typically higher profit than product sales because with the service you generally invest in the capability up front you make a large investment up front and then you reap the benefits of that investment longer term whereas with product sales you're constantly spending money to make the sale think of selling something like a t-shirt you constantly need to buy a new t-shirt to sell it to a customer. So each sale to a customer of a t-shirt has an associated cost of goods that is continuously increasing and related to that sale. Whereas with service sales, you invest in the product up front and then each new customer just adds to the profitability to the bottom line because you already invested in that product up front. And so each new customer just starts to reap the rewards from that initial investment. And so it's a different category. It's a different profit margin profile and typically more profitable. And so what you want to see as an investor is the companies that you invest in grow their service sales more than they grow their product sales. And that's precisely what we saw with Amazon in the nine months ended September 30th. Net product sales increased from 172 billion to 179 billion, an increase of 7 billion, whereas net service sales increased from 192 billion to 225 billion, an increase of 33 billion. That led to a huge increase in operating profitability 
because like I mentioned, service sales are more profitable. So operating income in the nine months ended September 30th increased from 9.5 billion to 23.643 billion for Amazon in the nine months ended September 30th. And looking forward, it looks like more of this trend will continue because Amazon is benefiting from growth in its web services segment. Amazon is benefiting from growth in its advertising revenue, which are both service revenue, which are increasing faster than the business overall, which are taking a greater percentage of sales, which is leading to greater profitability. All good news for Amazon investors. So a few more things I'll highlight quickly. Amazon's net Operating profit margin in its North American sales segment has been growing nicely from negative 0.8% to negative 5, negative 3, 1.2, 3.9, 4.9. So several quarters of consecutive improvement there. Same thing with the international sales segment. But one of the more important things that happened with Amazon in the most recent quarter is the stoppage of the declining AWS sales growth. So AWS is Amazon's most profitable segment. You could see operating profit margin 29, 26, 24, and 30% in the most recent quarter, way above their North American and international segment, right? But the trouble was that this area was decelerating revenue growth from 33 to 28 to 20 to 16 to 12. But thankfully, in the most recent quarter, they stopped that decline from 12. It stayed at 12. And the profit margin increased from 24.2% to 30.3%, signaling that this 12% increase was more robust than the previous quarter's 12% increase. Because remember, you can always increase sales by offering incentives and promotions and discounts. So by demonstrating 12% growth with a 30% profit margin, it signals there's more room for expansion in that segment. So that's great news for Amazon investors. So now let's look forward. Let's look at what the stock price could be. So to judge that, I want to look at its, what I have here is Amazon's revenue growth forecast, 11.4% for 2024, 11.6% for 2025, and its earnings per share growth forecast, 34% in 2024, 33% in 2025. Additionally, here is the actual EPS forecast, $3.60 for 2024 and $4.78 for 2025. These are the estimates I'm going to use. Additionally, another estimate I'm going to use is Amazon's forward price to earnings ratio of 44 and Amazon's trailing price to earnings ratio of 79. The difference between these two is one looks at its earnings per share over the previous 12 months. The other looks at the earnings per share estimate over the next 12 months. So let's go into the forecast. Let's look at the estimate earnings per share. $3.60 was the estimate earnings per share for 2024. So if Amazon holds its $80 price to earnings ratio that it has right now, Amazon's estimated stock price could be $288 per share by the end of 2024. If its price to earnings multiple decreases to 70, its stock price could be $250 per share, $52 to be precise. If it falls to 50, it could be 180. And if it falls to 40, it could be 144. Now, when you have a company with such a high uh, price to earnings ratio, the bigger risk is the change in the price to earnings ratio, more so than an incorrect EPS estimate. Finally, let's look at the forward price to earnings ratio. And to do this, we need to look at the earnings per share estimate of 2025 to look at what the stock price could be in 2024 because the valuation will be forward looking. And its current forward PE is 45. And so if it holds this estimate of 4.78 and the forward PE of 45, the estimated stock price could be $215 in 2024. If it falls to 40, the stock price could be $191 per share. If it falls to 30, it could be 143. And if it falls to 20, it could be $95.60 per share. So in my best guess, I would suggest, I would estimate that Amazon stock price will fall somewhere between $190 per share and $288 per share in 2024. 
Thank you for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. I know there's a lot you could be doing with your time and a lot of other videos you could be watching. So I truly appreciate that you chose to watch this one. If you want to see more videos just like this, hit the subscribe or the like button. They'll both help me make more videos just like this one. Thank you again.